still short. Mm-hmm. Look at Chris wearing the good old mm-hmm. young LA. Good <laughs> athlete, what can I say? Hashtag Coach Sebum. Who's introing this? Chris is. I am? Fuck yeah. Oh, no, what are you doing? Uh, I want an energy drink. No. Sorry, yeah. Three o'clock, and these have too much caffeine. Don't be a bum. Bum energy just came in. <gasps> I've been waiting for these. Only a hundred. Chris here. Is that the intro? Are we rolling? Sure. Sure. So that was the intro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Raw You podcast. I've been MI for a while. These kids have been taking over for a bit. And we're going to pretend we're going to get consistent again. So Why do you say pretend? Why do you say pretend? Why do you want me to verbally commit right now that we are? Yes. Okay. Look into the camera. Look, break the fourth wall. I look verbally the commit that we may or may not commit to doing the podcast consistently. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> sure. Man. It sounds like honest truth to me. Yeah. But yeah, we we're just kind of ripping honest off broken. into this one. We're going to try and be better at this. We got a lot of stuff, kind of cool stuff going on. First thing I guess we can talk about is Bum Energy is finally in the house. We don't even have it on the table. That's you want me to go get one? Branding. You want me to go get one? That's okay. It's cool. Are you sure? Edit one in or something. I mean, it's either I grab one or I edit one in. No, it's up we'll, to you. Well, I'll get someone to bring one in. Get a case. I don't want to get someone to bring one in. But they finally arrived at the warehouse so we have like 500,000 cans of energy and now the job is just preventing the content team from drinking all of them before we sell it because it'll go fast especially the way these guys guzzle it down but we're super pumped about it we sent it out to a few suppliers a bunch of people and everyone fucking loves it so far it's a lot different than most it's not like a hit you in the face like overly sweet syrupy drink it's like a nice 112 milligram caffeine of a nice nice light orange soda cherry soda so Super so about that. before we move on from that, out of the two flavors, which one's your favorite? <sighs> Depends on the day, but I think overall orange. I love. I just love orange soda. I was like an orange crush kind of guy. I didn't drink the, like Coke or anything when I was young. How about you guys? I'm a, I'm a big cherry frost supporter right now. Yeah, I'm, no like, I'm kind of the same. Like it's depending on the day for me. So yeah, like, for I would I would probably go orange. I think. Yeah. Orange is just I, I well the biggest thing is I love orange juice. Yeah. Okay. So like. Do you drink orange juice? Bro, I used to drink like like a liter a day. <laughs> At least you got your gone through phases like that when you were living with me. Yeah. <laughs> Just buys fucking boxes of Tropicana. Oh my God. It down. Not even the good stuff. Tropicana's oh, the Tropicana. fucking best. What are you Simply talking orange. about? Simply orange. No, Tropicana is way better. We Simpl- don't have that in Canada. Simply orange. Oh, okay. Sim- Simply orange. No, yeah, we did. We Simply did? Simply lemonade. Look who it is. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's dun, dun, dun. beautiful. <laughs> we can't ruin this because it's literally like... Brand new? Yeah. Yeah, this is probably already sold. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't right there. Yeah. God damn it. But yeah, but it doesn't actually taste like orange juice, heads up. It tastes like orange soda, like yeah. Fanta or like orange Sun juice. Sunkissed. Sunkissed. Like a little bit more Crush. subtle. It's definitely something that you can drink multiple of. Because like, I find that when I drink any other energy drinks, like multiple of my f- mouth just tastes like, like chemicals. chemicals. <laughs> Almost like, like numb, yeah. It's yeah. like so much like syrup. Yeah. I yeah. just like the look of the can, like... You guys killed it. On I will the say design. the next the next flavor that you guys are coming. Are you are we allowed to tell? Yeah, go ahead. I knew you were gonna say. That. I I mean I've already I've like as as like I already tasted these, but as soon as I tasted the next flavor that's coming out, I think, um, Wait, which is rocket candy. candy. Oh. I literally was just like, I'm sorry, but like these are great, but like I'm yeah. not buying any other flavor besides rocket candy. Well, you before. like candy. So I love too. like candy flavors. Yeah. So, but this this sauce was really good too. So like so I'm gonna pa- I'm gonna ho- I'm gonna like, or- order a pallet for myself. <laughs> <laughs> just put it in your bedroom. Can we, I wonder. We, can we get like a mini fridge? Mini. We should Already get a mini fridge, it. but we're like with this, like design around the mini fridge. Already we're, on it. We want to. Yeah, we're trying. That'd be pretty. But cool. we're gonna have to charge you guys. Fucking. No, make it like a vending machine where you have to put in like you actually dollars. have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a bad idea actually. Just the fact that there's. I mean, we we go every like on our lunch breaks. We all go to like vitamin buy shop them, and buy yeah. like yeah. Like save us, Chris. We're, s- we're, we're buying like no hate. You guys a monthly go. allowance, and whatever's in there, you can drink. Then oh, that's perfect. But uh, so I only want rocket candy. But obviously, it's about to launch. But for you, as it's your namesake, what's like a vision you have for it? Like say like two years down the line, when this thing is still moving, it's still sprinting. Where would you like to see it end up, and what would you like the like presence of Bum Energy to have? I mean, I just I mean. Physically where I want it to see, I want to see it in gas stations. 
I feel like when I walk into a gas station and I see fucking bum sitting there, I'm going to be like, I made him up, you know? That's like the goal. <laughs> We're already going to vitamin shop in April and a bunch of other places and super pumped about that because of the relationship yeah. we built with Raw, obviously. But it's like a whole other level to be in like mainstream gas stations and stuff. So I'm pumped about that. But I mean, I just kind of want the brand to be built into something really cool. It's more of like a lifestyle energy drink, not like yeah. a hardcore pre-workout thing. You know, our branding's all going to be behind like chill lifestyle we just should a cool shoot with carly and calvin like on a beach with a bronco mm-hmm. and do this shit and it's Dude, more that like footage was photos sick, sick yeah was i'm pumped to start releasing those but i just want people to like have it as something they enjoy when they like enjoy a soda or yeah. like on the beach a pre-drink maybe like studying like just casually throughout your life because you know you got to take fabric before the gym but yes. Exactly. Sip this on, live on this. Would you like to see this be in like the realm of like how Red Bull, like Red Bull is an energy drink, but like look <coughs> at what they've accomplished through like their extreme sports, branding. their presence, and their branding. Yeah. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're, they're, they're literally, literally a Formula everywhere. One team. Yeah. yeah. That's so like, something that's honestly so hard to even understand what they are. Yeah. People are like, they're not even an energy drink company. They're a branding it, company. They're it's a branding like, company. They, their brand is worth like, I don't know, like a, a billion lot. or something. Yeah. But they don't even sell close oh, to that much energy. That, dude. Some of the shit that they do, like people, it's crazy. Do, you, do you remember the Stratus jump? Yeah, like yeah, that was isn't that that was ten years ago? I know, but and like that 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 video, every <laughs> everything they've done like that has been viral. The coolest yeah. thing I ever saw they did, some dude was skiing with a parachute. Did you see that? I he saw went through that, a yeah. village and he went off a jump and went over a yep. building and skied the roof of the ski village hotel and then landed in like the walkway and going like that was real. Someone yeah. did that. They do crazy stuff. Professional man. athletes they do crazy don't try at home. Ass stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. 16.9 billion euros. I think the oh. euro is closer to the dollar right now, though. Yeah. Yeah, like 16 billion. That's right. Wait, they're not an American company? I, I don't believe they were. This might just be a UK website. Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, they always they do. They're just, their stuff is top notch, but they have obviously a massive company. Yeah, but of course, like it all started from like small stepping stones. So, like, that's yeah. where. Could you see Bum Energy, if everything played out right, like start to follow that like path of having that massive branding of like diving into F1, diving into extreme Formula sports. Bum. Formula Bum. <laughs> Formula Bum. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously hard to envision something being a fucking multi-billion dollar brand. Yeah. Because like, I don't know if that's that's just crazy. Would it be amazing? Of course. But I don't think we're going to go deep into that road of like crazy action sports. Okay. You know, that's kind of the Red Bull thing. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of find our path moving forward. But I think it would be dope if it was people's like go to, if it were place Red Bull and like the drinking aspect, you know? That'd be sick. Like in, if you were in bars and shit, people like mixing a bum energy with like a shot of tequila or vodka or something. Like, oh man, change up the Jaeger bomb. Exactly. Yeah. The bum bomb. Bum bomb. <laughs> the bum oh, bomb. <laughs> there you go. I feel like we get in trouble even marketing that. No, no. Red Bull never markets a Jaeger bomb. To be completely honest, your name is very easy to just make any brand. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if you put that like on a reel or a TikTok, like once these launch and you're bum just bums? like, yeah, I'm still, bum I'm still on the, I'm tag st- us in your video of a bum bomb and like you can enter. To <laughs> I'm just talking people go take shots and get fucked up. As long as you're over 21 and you drink responsibly, never, never drink and drive. Yeah. I'm, s- I'm still 1000% invested in bum wipes. <laughs> 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 One hundred thousand percent. It'll investment. be on our exit. We all come no, together should, on that project, bro. Let's compete with Pampers, and you just make a diaper line for children. Not even, bums. dude. You have like literally like just like nine pictures to fill the grid, <laughs> and it'll just like each one of them is just like just a stupid photo on an infinity backdrop. The like the middle one will be like Courtney like on a fake piece of turf on an infinity wall, just wiping like Watson's ass. Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll just be like censored too. The little poop art. <laughs> censored know? Poppy's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all it's got to be. My daughter. Because at the end that. of the day, something like that, you don't sell DTC. You sell wholesale to like everywhere. Yeah. Really, you don't go on fucking, who even, Dude Wipes. Dude, Dude wipes, wipes is the big yeah. one right now. Yeah. yeah. Like they don't, they don't, they have a social media, but it's just like, it's not, it's not like out I've there. never looked up their social action. It's not that great. They have like 14,000 followers. They're just the only non baby wipe wipe. Yeah. Yeah. That did it, you know? Probably not for long. Bum Bum wipes. wipes Bum wipes. Yeah, you never you never came out with that ketchup, by the way. We got too many (laughs) things going on. That's still holding on in the back burner. (laughs) We have two we have a lot of brands. We have a lot of things on the back burner. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you want to cryptically talk about that. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't. <Well. laughs> been, uh, keeps, yeah, that, that's not going to be talked about until it's ready to come out within like a matter of months. 
Okay. I don't even know what the hell you guys are talking about. That's fair, though. That is fair. You One do. thing we've been working on for, like, years. So oh, it hasn't, like, yeah. made any progress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It's made that's, progress, that's but TBD. slow. Uh, yeah, that's definitely to be determined. Well, I mean, to be completely honest, like, this is take, takes a lot of your time, and so does Raw, and then mm-hmm. so does every other thing, yeah. and then on top of your sponsorship. Yeah, you got a lot of things like, coming out. out. You got built from within. You got bum energy. Like, We're trying to prioritize, too. Like, like this all kind of flows together. Like, bond yeah. treats... Um, energy raw mm-hmm. revive the all use similar channels yeah it's all selling a product that's like a similar like in, mm-hmm. like ingestible thing so like we can use start with vitamin shop and use our connections and grow and put that money back in and build into other places whereas like our other projects that are on the back burner are like completely new concepts yeah that would be like a whole new team a whole new yeah uh, it's more like everything it's like more per- like your personal ventures yeah. as well because it, it doesn't fall under so to say the umbrella of like supplements or like how you said ingestibles so yeah. it's difficult you have a timer for the cameras right yeah okay uh but yeah that'd be really interesting to see how you have like the the starter pack it's like a bum energy vaunch treats and like a raw product yeah like but that's like yeah. that's so tough though because you can't put three because that that won't be on website technically is that d2c It'll be on Amazon. It'll be on Amazon. Only Amazon, yeah. So yeah, that'll be on Amazon. Vaughn Streets is its own own platform, and then Raw's Raw's obviously. To give to give away PR boxes, like large amounts, like set up like that. Yeah, yeah. There's only certain things that you can sell DDC. I mean, uh, for like because like I guess with supplements, it's a lot more like not niche, but it's a lot more um, like specific wise. Like Mm -hmm. with supplements, yeah, you have whey protein, you have pre workouts, EAAs, creatine. Um, raw test, raw tricastrone, like all these things, right? So like you can't really like, um, it's a lot, it's a lot, it's better to buy like specifically and like you have to control what you buy. But when it comes to like stuff, I guess with like bars and energy drinks, like you just like, there's not so many different, so many variations of the product. So like, it's like, it's just, you kind of just pick your flavor. And then that's why it's, I feel like it's easier to go to like a brick and mortar store to go and get it. Cause that's usually what people do for those kind of things anyways. Yeah. Shipping is also expensive. Like, like no one's going to like, yeah. no one's going to buy one bar off a website. You no. know, they'll do that off like Walmart. Or even like a box of bars. Like you're not going to buy one box of bars. Yeah. yeah. It's also like, to, like, just store. like culture, you know, you're mm-hmm. like more like trained to go buy food at a store. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not trained. Supplements have always kind of been more like just a specialty store or mm-hmm. online, whereas yeah. food is just like you go to a store and buy food. Mm-hmm. So do you have any leads for uh, any gas stations on this? <sighs> Working on it. 7-Eleven, if you're watching this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just tag them in the comments. All of them. Slide them in the DMs. Yeah, we'll tag 7-Eleven, Wawa, Sunoco. Bucky's. Bucky's, y'all. Bucky's, Bucky's is the first one. <laughs> oh, my and God. And they need to be a... We'll do a Bucky's they collab. Need, they need yeah. a, <laughs> Bucky's, every, that's flavored energy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a vending machine at every gas pump at Bucky's. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. Um, Like, because there's a Bucky's up north in Florida. Have you even knew a Bucky's? It was it my, wild. Since I moved, like... It's actually yeah, so wild. Yeah, it was wild. my first, first time ever being there, and I was like, this is like... It's overwhelming. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, where I've am I? I've never even been in one. It's like half you a Home to. Depot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like a Cabela's if you've ever been there. Yeah, you know dude, they is? sell they sell Traegers at the front of the <laughs> yeah, store. I'm really? like, what gas yeah. station sells Traegers? <laughs> That's crazy. The entire gas station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's so funny. But but yeah, so moving into the next thing, it's uh, it's funny you brought up social media. I wanted to talk about YouTube, but it's also good. It spurred another thing. Uh, since Elon took over Twitter, you could actually pay on the service to get a verification. That, is that officially rolled out now? That is, is out? yep. So, by the way, you have a verified user under your name that's not you, which is very interesting. Really? It's Chris Pumstead. Yeah, kidding. he has like 300, he has 300K followers. Really? He posts, he just emulates what you post and he does well. But then... For you, Chris Pumstead. <laughs> but then also, uh, Instagram is going to start doing that as well, I think. Or, oh, you're not talking about Instagram? No, I was talking about I was talking about Twitter first. Oh, but yeah. But now Instagram's followed. But you're telling me there's a verified Chris Bump said on Twitter. Yes. And I'm not even he's on He's not Twitter. verified. Oh, he's not verified? No. Oh, I saw. Yeah. But he does. Like, Young L.A. Cole. <laughs> did he at least put my real code? See, Bump? No. He, no? Yeah, he, he did. Co- did he oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Well, no, he doesn't have any code. He has your, he has your, he has the raw website on it, and he has he takes Young LA. Uh, he's Damn, that's sales a, at least. That's good a free man. worker. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Damn, dude, <laughs> he's actually a good engage. Look at the you and Doctor Marlin. How many <laughs> how many likes are shit on it? It's got like it's got six thousand likes wow. for Twitter. That's pretty good. No, like he has a like anytime I see him post, I'm like, 
it's so odd that that's actually not Chris because he does <laughs> he plays you so well. Imagine like wh- didn't what do you, you get do with uh, your life? Didn't, what are you expecting to get out of this? You know, didn't no, uh, no. didn't uh, <laughs> wasn't there something between like you and Andrew Tate on this account? Yeah, there yeah. was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it like, wasn't even you. You could find that and put it, but that was fucking hilarious. What, what he was waits it? on my yacht? Or oh yeah, you. Like he that. had acted as you to reply. To yeah. You. Andrew Tate about yeah Andrew Tate posted a video like benching on his yacht yeah and then the fake sea bomb commented like those are small dumbbells bro and he's like what are the size of the dumbbells on your yacht bro <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to talk shit that I don't have a yacht I'm like all right cool <laughs> already getting roasted by Andrew Tate and it's not even wait do you actually have a do you not have a Twitter account at all no he does not no you probably should get on Twitter should but you should just, just message the guy that owns that Twitter and be like, "Hey man, I'm." Uh, Isn't there a thing where you can connect? You like, actually, no, never mind. Because Twitter's can, like, you know, like when you post on Instagram, I'll post on Facebook too. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can do that on Twitter. But no, because those aren't connected. So many platforms. It is. Well, I'm rolling into TikTok now. I'm good on that. So let's focus on one. Twitter's Twitter kind of like I feel like it's you should be on it too. Twitter's though. a really good one, surprisingly. Or you could just ask this guy how much he'll sell you. <laughs> He's gonna really buy your account from you. <laughs> But yeah, no. That's probably why he's doing it. He's waiting yeah. for the day. He's that waiting I want for the day. Start. He's going to hit you with like twenty k. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it doesn't got it doesn't have a huge following, but two hundred sixty two is better. Instead of nothing. principal, I would be like, "Fuck you!" And yeah, try and build my own bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, not Sebum. That would yeah. be your Twitter. Not Sebum. Let's get this fool out of here. But uh, yeah, so Instagram's going to start doing that too. Uh, you pay for very cheap. I don't know if it's paid or if you just have to put in your identity to verify. It's weird. Um, is that where they're going to roll out a, like a second tier of verification, though? I hope so. Because what does that mean for all the people that are already verified that had to, like, you know, actually verified get I think they're going to do the thing where on really. Twitter there's, like, gold verification and blue verification. And then there's going to, yeah. Which is just, like, so weird. It's like an ego thing anyway. There's no <sighs> real benefit to it. Well, there is a benefit for, for, for people who are actually verified. It's le- less likely that your account will get hacked or... Um, and stuff or disabled. and like, and yeah. disabled. So like if, example, it, if it gets like, disabled then they can go back and track like oh this was actually sense, a verified yeah. account like my so. Sebum fitness account yeah, yeah. so imagine if, every week yeah, yeah. imagine that's if that why was yours verified. has never been like yeah, yeah. If, if that Sebum fitness account was verified it probably wouldn't get disabled or like taken down nearly as much yeah. but the only the only verified person that's been taken down is Donald Trump <laughs> but we know the, we him. know why <laughs> yeah ugh so, yeah, but I, I think that's what mainly verification was for because it doesn't stop like imposter. Um, no, not pages. at all. That's never going to stop. It's just more so for like making sure that your account is has like more security to get not get hacked yeah. into. Stuff. Or when people look up my name and they see 20 Chris Bump says, obviously the real ones. The ones mm-hmm. Yeah, there. that too. Yeah. So, yeah. But all right, let's talk <laughs> at a funny topic. Issues with the fitness industry. Uh, issues are you asking me the issues or are you gonna tell me what the issues are well no it just it spurred off a joke that i had with zach we were training at fitness and go um gym's actually not that bad it's not bad no. um i there was just so many like the like the people uh so many tank tops with like just you didn't want like you didn't have to see it but yeah i just said i looked at zach and i just go fitness industry where narcissism and body dysmorphia have a toxic relationship and for, like we just started laughing but as i thought about it like it kind of makes sense and that's honestly pro- pretty dead on about the fitness industry for a majority of it i don't know if I, maybe it's a majority maybe it's just the people you see on the surface a lot you know i think it's still a great really good outlet for people to put into their energy in the pursuit of like growth and having a purpose rather than like meaningless other bullshit yeah but i do think it can attract people because the whole goal is growth of your body and visual image so i think it can, like you can go down two different paths it can know? skew because i was going to say like bro how many people do you know that are in the fitness industry that look decent they have a physique better than 99 percent of the world and they think they look like shit it's almost like See, I get as shit I'm for looking, this too, though. Like, I'll say, as like, I'm looking deeper at you, <laughs> uh, and I'll elaborate. I'll say, like, oh, I'm a skinny bitch. I look like shit, blah blah. And it's almost like a humorous thing it you is. do you, in the you take a industry. joke out of it. And you also look like a bigger fucking narcissist if you're like, I look fucking great when you're like a bodybuilder. You know, it's like, okay, chill, bro. <laughs> but it's more so, in my opinion, I know I look good and I'm very happy with how I look as a human. But in terms of classic physique, Mr. Olympia, mm-hmm. like that's a different. Realm. scale of judgment you know yeah like i when i think of like when i look peak 
bulk when i'm putting a lot of effort into it when i'm on my shit when i'm shredded when i'm whatever Mm -hmm. and i'm at my peak i'm like okay like this is what i I optimal look like to look like mr olympia Mm -hmm. and then when i'm below that like i'm taking time off or whatever i'm like i don't look as good as i should relatively you know yeah it's all really relative i'm i never think i look actually like shit i'm just getting bitch sometimes you that know? was my way of just getting the actual truth out of chris <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like if you have like hey, if like you're that guy that has like a twin turbo honda civic <laughs> and it pushes out 700 horsepower and then you try and race it with mclaren's <laughs> Like it's not, it's not, it's not the same. It's Wait, different. What does that, how would that even mean? Like basically like the, the scale of like what you judge is like us, you know, but then compared to like a, a, like a P1 compared to like a LaFerrari, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, that's, I'm getting way too deep into that. <laughs> <laughs> you just went off. Just starts going off about cars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's kind of the main problem of like everything though, is like yeah. perspective. Yes. No matter what in life, you're going to have fucking miserable, you're going to have problems and issues come up in your life, but there's like the the horrible ones where you can't feed yourself or take care of your family, which are like serious fucking problems. And then there's the more money you make and the more you do, you get more problems and different problems. And it's just being able to slow yourself down and have the perspective sometimes of being like, okay, like my life is still beautiful. Like everything is good, but like this is hard. I'm getting through it. But like, I still have like the basic necessities. I need to really be happy. You know? Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta slow yourself down like that. Take a moment. It's just like, it's gratitude and positivity because in those moments, it's how you deal with them determines how you'll grow or not grow so that's why i think traveling is so important dude yes like dude when we when we go to india we're probably gonna be shell-shocked we're gonna have such a reality check yeah probably yeah because we're gonna be like remember that one (laughs) where we were at the arnold's and like we didn't have water for a day and we thought we were like everything was was falling apart yeah (laughs) we literally were trying to what (laughs) do we do do we shower (laughs) we can't shower for not one day (laughs) I literally, we literally booked a hotel that same day just for one <laughs> night, dude. Well, like we had to fly. Oh, I had to that's work out. right. The water yeah. it didn't work. As <laughs> yeah, yeah. At our hotel. It's true though. It's, these are those little things where you're like, damn, I'm grateful to have water every and day. I'm yeah. not, and I'm not, I'm not trying to diss that hotel, but like no. I went next door. The and, uh, that place had water. I'm like, this isn't a city problem, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they actually lied to us. They did tell us. They're like, oh, sorry, we don't know what happened. The city pipes burst. Then we went to the hotel next door, and they're like. Oh, yeah, no, we've been getting warnings for weeks that they're going to shut off our water, but our water isn't shut off till tomorrow at 12 p.m., so we're just letting our guests all know that beforehand. So they must have just forgotten to, to tell you guys. And I was like, oh, so that's the truth. Yeah. But they did just fuck up and forget to tell us. Damn. Yeah. Nice. Ain't staying there next year. But it, it, it <laughs> yes, literally wasn't yes, working at yes, all. Like, I, I kitchens. So. Bro, <laughs> they were giving us gallons of water, and I'm like, <laughs> how does this work? Because, like, when you flush, it's one gallon of water. So, like, literally. and then ju- uh, one gallon fill up. So it was two gallons just to flush. So I went and used the bathroom, filled it up, flushed it, and didn't fill it back up. So I had to use my other gallon. I'm like, bro, that's two gallons of water. Yeah. <laughs> You and two gallons thing of, we were you guys all him, share that toilet? We, no, we were no. all in different rooms. Yeah. Okay. We were asking him, like, how do we shower and stuff? And yeah. he's like, well, I can go get you some gallons from the basement. I'm like, do you want us like, pour a gallon <laughs> in our head? Just, like, in there, like, get yourself enough wet, then cover yourself in soap, and then you have a gallon and a half to, like, get all that soap off you. And then you're in there covered in soap still, and then you're just, like... Fuck, because you have no more water left covering soap. And but that's like, that's a, that's the perspective to like have because that that made us realize that like, dude, th- that two gallons that could have that literally could have been drinking water for like a family somewhere. No, you know what I mean, yeah, and we just that's true. boop boop. <laughs> <laughs> so if you if that's you, sh- how you if you shit a lot, it. you're <laughs> you're wasting a lot of water, bro. Oh my. God. I do a I uh, yeah, that's <laughs> crazy, dude. That's actually, why I started taking cold showers every day now. It saves water. You're just fucking in and out. You don't have to wait for it to heat up. And you don't want to stay in there for long. So you just like sit, you're saving water, you know? It's not yeah. to boost your testosterone. That's me giving back to the community. To boost testosterone? Yeah, it's not to boost your testosterone. Maybe. <laughs> okay, but all fairness, you also have a pool and a cold <laughs> tub. You also have a pool and a cold tub. That's true. Okay. Yeah, but those, those recycle the same water. It just sits. I guess. Yeah. I don't like flush the pool and refill it. Like, <laughs> Can all the you water. imagine? <laughs> Oop, done swimming. Fill it back <laughs> Just, fucking like just a two gallons. metric tons of water. <laughs> he just hits like the like a flushed button, and yeah, it just it's, <laughs> it's filled with only mountain, mountain valley water. <laughs> That'd be wild. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. dude, that mount your mountain valley water dispenser though. That's sick, dude. I, I actually, actually want to get one. I just love it's the fun. the glass bottle, but in my head, I'm just like, I am. Do water okay, tastes better. That, that reminds me. Do you have a Do you have a filter fridge? Like, uh, do you have a water? No, I don't. I don't know what it I is with Florida, but like the filtered water here for like from the fridge. Yeah. I've 
Zach has one. Cloudy? And he, no, no, no. And he has one, and the water just tastes so different from like what I'm used to. Good like, or bad? Like bad. Oh, like well, wh- water here isn't a uh, kid. Water in Canada is way better. I know that. Our tap water is great, especially so BC. Filters, better filtered. Yeah. Here it's like a little like Mount like Mountain Valley here tastes like BC water to me. Yeah. Oh. You know, dude, it's yeah, it's crazy. I, I, I think anywhere this podcast north is, is like, sponsored by Mountain Valley Water. Please, please send us some. Please, <laughs> like I bet you the water in Montana probably tastes amazing. Probably straight dude, from the Rockies. The old, so when I still lived at the in the same community as as Dom, yeah. the there was three bathrooms. So you the lived ba- in Dom's neighborhood. Yeah. Really. Was. Oh, with, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> Come on, connect right, the dots. The shower. Damn, time has flied. Flown right? Down. Dude, that's oh, another thing. Um, uh, man, I don't know what's, I don't know what's more, I don't know what times were more fun. Like those times in the old <laughs> office or here? Oh, dude, definitely here. Like, shit we've I felt like, I felt like back in the old office, it felt cooler because like we were so close to the gym <laughs> and now yeah. we're like an hour away from the gym with traffic. <laughs> so it was like, we don't even, because like, cause, like back, back, th- back then we, we saw each other, like we saw each other at work <laughs> and then we drive straight to the gym. We saw each other, but now it's just like everyone's Zach's training at 5 a.m. You're training yeah. at 5 a.m. Chris is training at like seven. I'm like trying to train like whenever <laughs> I can. It's just like, we don't even see each other in yeah, passing anymore. I will say that was cool. Like yeah. when you still had your GTR and like, when you drive that in and like everyone drives to the gym all of a sudden like from like 100 yards behind you you hear your fucking revving of the engine you just fly past i'm like oh yep there goes Chris. Chris. i mean i'm also it was also nice because like when i like when i first got down here i was also like three minutes away from oh yeah Yeah. yeah. i have the fucking longest drive now here in the morning i have a 40 minute drive here at home yeah that sucks i might i might be that far too though if i get my place in palm city then i'm gonna move to psl (laughs) nice (laughs) But we're going to have a gym here soon, so it's going to be okay. But yeah, like I was saying, the shower, the water that came out of that smelled like straight eggs. Oh, the, from our warehouse? No, no, no. F- at the shower back at the oh. old house. <laughs> and like the weirdest... Probably use the creek water. Yeah, dude. Like the, I it think might it have was, been well water. No, I think it was, but it was like the, sul- the sulfur in the water, like the filter outside. Water just, or something? Yeah, it wasn't working in the slightest. So like I'd be taking a shower and I'd like... It was like slimy egg smelling water, and I was just Bro, like. Bro, speaking of which, when I when I was appalled. when I was driving down here, when I showered in Utah, my hair was so fucking dry, dude. <laughs> I really? couldn't even, dude. I don't know what it was. I, I just it was better. <laughs> yeah. No, dude. I just like it, I either like it, well, Utah is literally built on a fucking salt rock, pretty much. <laughs> but it was just like my everything was just, like I just I couldn't even like brush my hands through my hair. Oh. It was like it was hurt. Ew. Anyways, maybe anyways. because you're living off monster energy drinks to get through that drive. No, I didn't drink any water. I I drank a lot of actually. No, I bought like I bought a huge case of BioSteel. And I drank that all day. With dude, water. that shit's awful. I love it, dude. I don't know why. I you drank that it. during Pee Wee Year of Hockey. It. That that like, what, what is that that one I like? That it's like the it's like the, the fruit one? punch. The, yeah, the rainbow one. Rainbow punch. I love that one. bro. The only time I drank it was when they had a deal with. You Connor like it, McDavid. right? You like BioSteel? It's okay. Yeah. I like it because it's naturally sweetened, but yeah. yeah, like they had a collab deal with Austin Matthews and Connor McDavid. So like for hockey players, like you just drink it because mm. uh, uh, some people don't like Prime. I love Prime. I think Prime's good. I Prime think, tastes I good. I think Prime's awesome. I don't. Know. I like I, their, some people think that it's too sweet, but I, I like I their think hydration better than their energy. Uh, their 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 yeah, energy is decent. Their energy. their energy trash have bum energy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut you up. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to do a podcast with them soon? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I'm cool enough. I I always notice the water is like different everywhere I go. Yeah, I was I only I wasn't even gonna touch the water in uh, in Ohio. But oh, hello Hi. AJ. Yeah, yeah we're, we're almost done. We got one more. Want to join? You want to join? <laughs> <laughs> Just slowly back away. <laughs> But uh, all right, last topic to before we wrap it up, it's our uh, beautiful. What are we calling this thing? Raw Fuck reunion. Get raw two K two. Get raw two K two. We have an event plan. We just don't know what the what name it's is called. yet. It's it doesn't matter fun. what it's called, but just the premise behind it. It's gonna be fun. Like I mean, yeah, yeah. So this is our first like standalone event. Standalone like internal big event that we're doing. This is the end of the athlete search too. It's ending in like yep. what like this week. Yeah. So athletes are just going to be done this week. We're picking 10 athletes to come mm-hmm. down and come to this event. They're going to be staying in our Airbnb, being a part of the team, literally, 
being at the event as on the team side, not a fan side. So it's going to be really cool to do that. Bringing down, what, like 10 of our current athletes down to approximately? Um, to yes, head. we're still confirming all athletes, but that's that's the goal. And, yeah. um, I mean. Yeah, we got Michaela. Yeah. Is an athlete now, Michaela and Nisa. We've got building the female power team. Love to see it. Gabe and Nathan yep. potentially coming too. Vaughn, obviously. Well, obviously Vaughn. So yeah, it's gonna be who's a Vaughn? good time. <laughs> who's Vaughn? <laughs> who's, who's who's? We dropped Vaughn. He's <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's outside. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> he's gonna watch this video and be like, "Excuse me." <laughs> no, but the premise is cool because the first day Friday is like a little bit tight knit. But are there two hundred people coming to that? We have 150,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick it up back there because yeah. they don't know where the hell we are now. We actually only have five. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's going to be a really fun time. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, the, the pipe ball game, though, we're inviting like 150 ambassadors yes. to come yeah. and be a part of it. And then the winner of that gets to come to dinner with us too, whatever the winning team is. Mm -hmm. So I think this is the first time I've ever seen a company like involve that many people into like a tight knit thing. Because normally yeah. that's just our really employees and athletes. Yeah. I that's think it's a really good opportunity for us because not a lot of other, I don't think first form probably has, but like other companies like to have this level of outreach to try to welcome everyone in yeah. like the inclusivity thing. Like it, it's good. Like I think it'll I think really that's help. also just like kind of what our brand is built on. Yeah. Like we definitely want to try to build as big as of a community and culture as we can here because at the end of the day, like you want to be a good person. You don't want to be a piece of shit. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. move to the mountains. Next yeah, you're awful. But it's not because I'm a piece of shit, just because I don't like human beings. <laughs> <laughs> he likes dogs. Yeah, just a dog. And just Courtney. <laughs> what about your parents? <laughs> they can come visit to you. What about Courtney's parents? <laughs> they can't do you. All right. There. Ian? He can come in, Melissa. Well, it, That's it, though. Their dogs? Calvin, definitely not. Wow. It's, okay. it's been gonna, five years, man. I'm going <laughs> to get on that I'm, list. I'm going to dart him with a tracker, and he's never going to be able to. Air tag. <laughs> I'm not going to have a phone up there, so you won't be able to it's track gonna be like one of those, like, <laughs> It's going to be like literally one of those, like, it's going to be like one of those. Right in the neck. <laughs> oh, the well, dog sleep. The, 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 the dog chip. It's going to be, be like surgically the... ever moved. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like fucking Jason Bourne and stab myself and pull Just it pull out. Just pull it myself. out. Oh, man. Those movies are great, though. So but yeah, anyways, John day two of the event, day officially two. day one to the public, yes. is going to be a Q&A seminar style where we're going to have panels of female athletes, male athletes, and then myself, Matt, and Dom, the owners, kind of going up. People have an opportunity to talk to us, ask questions, and be more engaging. Because sometimes the meet and greets are too quick. So we've been doing a bunch of meet Q&As lately, and mm -hmm. people have been really liking those. So the first half of the day is going to be organized as that. second half of the day is going to be And then we're going to break off, and the winners of the past team will have dinner with us and just chill. Yeah, and it'll be – I mean, I think there was talks of, like, a for the winners that do come on, it's, a, like, a family-style barbecue back at the Airbnb or wherever we oh, are. Yeah, the fucking crazy Airbnb. I, I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that place. That place is wow. I, I no one's going to be able to find it. Cause yeah. Shit looks like Wonderland, bro. Shit is. We're going to have some fun filming content there. Chris yeah. might not because apparently you hate YouTube. So <laughs> we're just. I hate YouTube. And I hate human beings. Oh, okay. Big but he doesn't hate YouTube. It's his job. <laughs> no, it's not. People that's can the, hate the job. That's the least of your worries. That's part of it. Eh. Yeah. Eh, I Less guess. Less stressful than when Olympia is, so. That's true. I mean, oh, that's a real quick, quick question. If you could pursue YouTube and make, say, like, enough money to make you set for life, the YouTube route or competing? competing. Figured. Figured. But with that being said, I believe this is dropping Friday, this podcast. So if you're tickets. watching, yeah, if you're watching this today, sale to the ambassador for tickets goes live today. Not sure what time, but it'll probably, like, this episode will be dropping afterwards yeah. and then the following wednesday is when tickets for the public will go live so definitely keep an eye out and if you're an ambassador please get that ticket quick get on it get on it man because uh if you don't you're just going to be missing out on all the fun but uh yeah it's june 3rd too right yes you know what it is the weekend of june 3rd yeah is, is june 3rd that saturday well, or is that well, friday if, if the date's wrong graham will put a thing yeah i'll put a the big old because i didn't want to be here june 3rd but you got there forcing me to be there yeah why aren't you gonna why don't you want to be here Toronto pro i gotta support my first family <laughs> you're sticking me with my second family i mean at least you're a family man but so. with that we're gonna wrap it up um thank you for watching i don't know what episode number this is but it'll be on the screen so 36. We will, 
absolutely not. It's like 28 or 29. 29. It's minus 29. Whatever. Yeah. So we'll do a Q&A or something next podcast. Yeah. Oh, so Get more thoughts coming, you know? Yeah. A little more interactive. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> you were outroing it, then you looked at me. I was like, you could have finished the sentence. I mean, you were, on a, you, were, you were talking. Yeah, whatever. But thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. I'm energy coming soon. Raw event coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That was Don't. perfect. That's where you cut it. That's where the list breaks in. So, bro, somebody literally came. From <laughs> I explained that Babbage was like because I have a list and somebody literally was like, bro, you don't even have a list. You're faking this shit. I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> listen to me talk for five minutes and it will come out. Trust me. You just don't pay attention. Especially now I can't breathe through my nose. It's even harder. But with that, fuck you guys. See you later. <laughs> Dude's face just tranquilized. <laughs>